Jeff Bezos' story is one of ambition, innovation, and relentless pursuit. It's a story that begins in the heart of America, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Born in 1964, young Jeff's early life was marked by curiosity. He possessed an insatiable thirst for knowledge, always eager to understand how things worked. Bezos' childhood home was his first laboratory. The young boy, surrounded by books and tools, spent hours tinkering with gadgets. He took them apart, piecing them back together, each attempt fueling his desire to create and explore. This innate curiosity would become the driving force behind his future endeavors. It was clear from a young age that Bezos was destined for great things. His inquisitive nature, combined with a natural inclination towards leadership, set the stage for an extraordinary journey. Little did anyone know that this curious boy from New Mexico would grow up to revolutionize the way we live, shop, and even dream. This is the story of how a spark of ingenuity, nurtured in the unlikeliest of places, ignited a global empire. As Jeff Bezos grew older, his fascination with technology only intensified. The world of computers, with their intricate workings and limitless possibilities, beckoned him. He dove headfirst into this new frontier, his mind buzzing with ideas and aspirations. Bezos' passion for technology was not merely a hobby, it was a calling. He excelled in his studies, his sharp mind absorbing knowledge like a sponge. High school became a stepping stone to higher learning, a path that led him to the prestigious halls of Princeton University. It was here, amidst the brightest minds in the nation, that Bezos honed his skills and charted his course. He graduated with degrees in electrical engineering and computer science, a testament to his intellectual prowess and unwavering dedication. Armed with a world-class education, Bezos embarked on his career journey. He landed a coveted position on Wall Street, the epicenter of American finance, where he quickly climbed the corporate ladder. His time in finance, though seemingly distant from his technological roots, proved to be an invaluable experience. Bezos learned the intricacies of business, mastered the art of strategy, and developed a keen sense for identifying opportunities. Little did he know that these very skills would soon be put to the test in a way he could never have imagined. The hallowed halls of Princeton University became Jeff Bezos' next proving ground. He thrived in the intellectually stimulating environment, his passion for knowledge burning brighter than ever. He pursued a double major in electrical engineering and computer science, disciplines that would later converge in his entrepreneurial endeavors. Bezos wasn't just a bookworm, though. He was a leader elected to the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Society. He also served as the president of the Princeton Chapter of Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, a testament to his early fascination with the cosmos. His time at Princeton wasn't just about academic pursuits, it was about shaping a vision. Bezos' professors recognized his brilliance. They saw in him a student who wasn't afraid to challenge conventions, to think differently. They witnessed his relentless work ethic, his drive to excel in everything he pursued. These formative years at Princeton laid the foundation for Bezos' future successes. They instilled in him the value of critical thinking, innovation, and the pursuit of audacious goals. Upon graduating from Princeton in 1986, Bezos embarked on a path that seemed preordained for someone of his intellect and ambition. Wall Street, he landed a coveted job at Fitel, a burgeoning telecommunications company where he was tasked with building a network for international trade. This early experience exposed Bezos to the power of technology to connect people and businesses on a global scale. Bezos's star continued to rise. He moved on to Bankers Trust, a prominent investment bank, where he quickly ascended the ranks. His sharp mind and analytical skills made him a natural in the world of finance. He thrived in the fast-paced, high-stakes environment, mastering the complexities of financial markets. It was during this time that Bezos met his future wife, Mackenzie Tuttle, a fellow Princeton graduate who worked as a researcher at the firm. Their shared intellectual curiosity and ambition created an instant bond. They married in 1993, embarking on a journey together that would intertwine their personal and professional lives.
By 1990, at the age of 26, Bezos had achieved what many would consider the pinnacle of success. He had become the youngest senior vice president at D.E. Shaw and Company, a prestigious quantitative investment firm. His future in finance seemed secure, his career trajectory pointing towards a life of wealth and influence. Yet, beneath the surface of this outward success, a seed of restlessness began to grow. Bezos couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing. The world was on the cusp of a technological revolution, the internet was rapidly expanding, and Bezos felt an irresistible pull to be a part of it. He spent his evenings and weekends poring over statistics about the growth of the internet. He became convinced that it held the potential to transform the way business was conducted, the way people lived their lives. The idea of an online bookstore offering an unprecedented selection of titles to anyone with an internet connection began to take shape in his mind. The thought wouldn't let him go. It was a risky proposition to leave behind a secure and lucrative career for an untested idea in a nascent industry. But Bezos was never one to shy away from a challenge. He knew that if he didn't take this leap of faith, he would forever regret it. The allure of the unknown, the potential to disrupt and innovate, proved too strong to resist. The year was 1994. The internet, still in its infancy, was a mysterious and exciting frontier. Jeff Bezos, with a promising career on Wall Street, saw something more. He saw the internet's potential to revolutionize commerce. Bezos faced a crossroads. He could take a leap of faith and pursue his entrepreneurial dreams. In a move that surprised many, Bezos chose the road less traveled. He left behind Wall Street and embarked on a cross-country road trip. Their destination, Seattle, Washington, a city known for its technological innovation. Arriving in Seattle, Bezos wasted no time in setting his plan in motion. He rented a modest house in Bellevue and transformed the garage into his makeshift headquarters. Boxes of books stacked high lined the walls, a testament to his vision. The air crackled with the energy of new beginnings. With a small team, Bezos worked tirelessly, fueled by passion. The name Amazon was chosen, reflecting Bezos' grand vision. The early days were marked by shared purpose and determination. The world had no idea this humble garage was about to give birth to a giant. On July 16, 1995, Amazon.com opened its virtual doors. The website offered access to over a million book titles with a few clicks. A bookstore without walls, it changed how people bought books. News spread quickly, fueled by excitement about the internet. People were drawn to Amazon's vast selection and competitive prices. Orders poured in, exceeding expectations. The company grew at an astonishing rate. Amazon's early days were far from smooth sailing. The company constantly grappled with financial constraints. Jeff Bezos was acutely aware of the balance between growth and solvency. He poured his personal savings into the company, skimping on expenses. Bezos took on multiple roles, demonstrating hands-on leadership. Securing venture capital was no easy feat. Bezos tirelessly pitched his vision, convincing skeptical financiers. His belief in Amazon's potential attracted crucial investments. Despite financial headwinds, Bezos focused on customer satisfaction and long-term growth. In addition to financial struggles, Amazon faced significant technical challenges. The internet was still in its nascent stage and building a robust, user-friendly e-commerce platform was no small feat. Technical glitches were frequent and the team had to be innovative and resourceful to keep the website running smoothly. Every day presented new hurdles from server crashes to software bugs, each demanding immediate attention and resolution. Bezos' background in computer science proved invaluable during these times. He was deeply involved in the technical aspects of the business, often working alongside engineers to troubleshoot issues and devise solutions. His technical acumen and hands-on approach not only solved immediate problems, but also instilled a culture of innovation and continuous improvement within the team. Scalability was another major concern. As customer demand grew, so did the need for a more robust infrastructure. The team had to constantly upgrade servers, optimize databases, and enhance the website's performance to handle the increasing traffic. This ongoing process required not just technical expertise, but also strategic planning to anticipate future growth and needs. To tackle these challenges, Bezos adopted a methodical data-driven approach. 
He emphasized the importance of metrics and analytics using data to identify bottlenecks and inform decision-making. This quantitative mindset helped the team prioritize tasks, allocate resources efficiently, and make informed decisions that would support Amazon's long-term scalability. Financial and technical obstacles were only part of the battle. Market skepticism posed another significant challenge. The concept of online shopping was still foreign to many consumers in the mid-1990s. Traditional retailers and customers alike were wary of the idea of purchasing products over the internet. Bezos and his team understood that building trust was paramount. They implemented rigorous security measures to protect customer data. Detailed product descriptions and customer reviews helped build credibility. Many viewed Amazon as a temporary disruptor, but Bezos remained undeterred. He focused on delivering exceptional value to customers. Through persistence and innovation, Bezos navigated Amazon through its early years. By 1997, Amazon had outgrown its garage beginnings and moved into a larger office. The decision to take Amazon public was pivotal. On May 15, 1997, Amazon's IPO raised over $54 million. Amazon's stock price soared, showing investor confidence in Bezos' vision. The success of Amazon's IPO fueled its growth plans. Bezos envisioned Amazon as the everything store. The expansion began with music and video sales, then electronics, toys and more. Amazon invested heavily in logistics and technology to support this growth. Amazon reshaped the retail landscape with its focus on customer experience. The rise of the internet boosted e-commerce, and Amazon led the charge. Bezos introduced Amazon Prime to foster customer loyalty. Amazon's success marked a new era in retail. The late 1990s saw tech industry exuberance. Amazon's stock price soared, but the dot-com bubble burst in 2000. Amazon's stock plummeted, wiping out billions in market value. Despite the crash, Amazon's fundamentals remained strong. The dot-com bubble burst was a sobering experience. Bezos focused on operational efficiency and innovation. Amazon streamlined operations and invested in new features like Amazon Prime. Amazon emerged stronger and more determined. Amazon Prime, launched in 2005, revolutionized online shopping. Prime offered unlimited two-day shipping and other perks. It built deeper customer relationships and drove repeat purchases. Prime became synonymous with convenience and value. Bezos' ambitions extended beyond e-commerce. Amazon Web Services, AWS, launched in 2006, disrupting IIT infrastructure. AWS became the leader in cloud computing. In 2017, Amazon acquired Whole Foods, transforming grocery retail. Bezos founded Blue Origin in 2000, focusing on space exploration. Blue Origin aimed to lower the cost of access to space. The new Shepard vehicle demonstrated reusable rocket technology. Bezos envisioned millions living and working in space. Bezos fostered a culture of experimentation at Amazon. Innovations like the Kindle and Echo transformed industries. Amazon invested in automation and robotics for efficiency. Prime Air, the drone delivery program, aimed to revolutionize delivery. Bezos' journey is a testament to vision and innovation. He changed how we shop and interact with technology. Bezos stepped down as CEO in 2021, but his influence remains. His story inspires and shapes the world around us.